This morning, I'm just going to talk a little bit about simple strategies. Simple strategies on how to share Jesus with people. And so, if I want to make one statement on, on our on our that really captures the strategy. What is our strategy? How are we going to do this? It's simply this. It's to share and demonstrate the gospel with love and power. The, the demonstration part is important because it gives evidence. It validates the message. Paul said this in Romans 1 verse 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. I'm not ashamed of it. Why? That message itself is the power of God. You see, it doesn't matter what kind of audience you have. Whether you're having, you have somebody who's very spiritual, who wants to, you know, show me something very powerful. Or whether you're, you're talking to somebody who's an intellectual, who, who says, you know, you know, give me something very uh, appealing to my mind. Look, I have, you and I just shared, do one thing. We share the message of the cross. It will impact their lives. You leave that to God. Each of us will need some personal strategies on how to share and demonstrate the gospel. Depending on what you're doing, you need to have a few strategies in your mind on how you're going to bring the gospel to people. And remember this, that we are depending on the Holy Spirit. So this is where the gifts of the Spirit come in. right? Of you and I depending on the Holy Spirit. That, that God will flow through me. That the works of the Spirit will take place through me. But I'm going to step out in faith any opportunity I get. As part of your normal day, as you go about things, whenever you have an opportunity, reach out to share the gospel and minister to people in the power of the Spirit. That you and I can take the risk. You and I can step out. Whether the healing happens there or not, don't worry about it. But you step out. You take the risk. What if that person got healed? What if that person, something happened? Uh, you don't know the ripple effect. How many others would have been impacted through one miracle? When you're working with people, you're interacting with people one-on-one, -on -one, here are some simple things you can do, you and I can do. Of course, you and I need to build trust, right? If you and I don't have trust, they don't trust us. They are not going to trust us when we share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Another thing you and I could think of doing is also give them something to read. Keep some tools with you, some books or uh, prayer cards that you can just use as conversation starters. Uh, another thing that you and I can do as personal strategies is always offer to pray for somebody when they're in their time of need. So if a friend comes to you and says, you know, hey, I I'm going through this, this, this thing in my life, your response can be something like, hey, can I, is it okay if I pray for you? Another strategy you can have is to invite them to church, invite them to your life group, if they're interested. But don't make that the opening statement. The first thing is, let them in impact them where they are. Then we could think about getting them to church if they are interested. All right, and of course, depend on the Holy Spirit. To make, God may give you words of knowledge. We can also have group strategies. Two or three of you get together and say, let's target a, group, uh, 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 a certain group of people. Let's pray for people in the malls or you go out in the coffee shops or out on the streets. The next important thing is be prepared to share. I want you to think about at least these three things. One, be prepared to share the gospel in five minutes. The message, the core message of the Bible, in three minutes, maximum five minutes. Be prepared. Second, be ready to talk about your own personal life transformation again in three to five minutes. Other thing is this, is be prepared to share relevant personal miracle stories, again, in three minutes. Uh, here's the, probably the most important thing you will ever learn in this message, and it is pray short prayers. Pray simple prayers, pray short prayers. And the last point here is this. Remember the battle is the Lord's. That means you and I can share and demonstrate the gospel with love and power, but the response of that person is not in our control. Leave that to God.